what's going on guys? You're here with Nate 28 and this is Crossbeats Production. Uh, thank you for tuning in. So I want to go over a quick tip. Uh, this is a real brief one, but it also reminds me of the importance of saving your work. But luckily inside of Studio One, it has an auto save function. So inside of Studio One, this is what you'd normally see before you actually save any of your work. So normally you go up to here, you go save, or you can hit command S, or if you're on Windows, it'd be a different function or a different key. Um, this is allowing you to automatically save though, if you haven't done so already. So luckily it did because I had already done some edits here on my project here. So I didn't want to have to go back and do some of this stuff that I'd already done. Not that much work, but just a little bit annoying. It took me about, you know, 10 or so minutes to go in there and edit all of the stuff that I wanted to. Uh, and it allowed me to do that. And then all of a sudden I added a plugin and it quit. So it's happened to me before in Pro Tools or other DAWs and there is no automatic function that I'm aware of on that anyway. But um, if there is, obviously you guys can correct, but this is luckily enough that it saves it for me. So what I did to find that is I went into my search. So I just go into my Mac here, just type in the date. So 2019 by the month, or it would be the other way around if you're in the US, but we'll just go with Australian uh, at the moment. So 22nd. Uh, so then you can see that it gives me a folder here. Uh, this folder is allowing me to show all the history that's worked on this particular project. If you click that and you go down to the latest one and double click it, the, the latest one that's got the actual symbol next to it, it will bring you to the project. So the project then should open. If it doesn't open automatically like um, this has just done now, what you can do is it will open actual the actual Studio One program and then just double click that once again. So go back here and double click that and then it will open straight into the latest version. So you just do it by time. Obviously, it's pretty obvious there. So today it's the latest one, 231. And then it opened it up for me and I was back to where I was at the point where it lost it. So then I obviously can just go save as and I've got all the work and then continue on with my work. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. It was already existing before Studio One 4.5, but I just want to remind you guys again to save your work if you haven't. Um, that's the important thing about any kind of um, audio stuff. You don't want to lose the idea or the creative information that you worked on really hard. Uh, if you don't, then obviously this is the kind of thing where it really helps out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.